Il y a pris l'acheter caleçon pour vous, il y a côté fruit de l'oum, l'elvini, pour être pour tout faire, parce que c'est caleçon à vous, mais c'est bon, c'est qu'on a le camarade, c'est ça, c'est ça, c'est ça, c'est ça, toujours, ouais, au caleçon fait, un caleçon qui sac, avec un sien sac farine ou adino, ou toujours un lion sous cuisseau, non, qui caleçon à vous, c'est qu'on y a, pas me répondre. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. This is Karen Hill, your host of KG22. Today, the show is going to be great. We're going to talk about a lot of informative uh, action, a lot of informative stuff for the community and things that we really need to know about because without information, there's a lot of uh, process that won't be able to be done smoothly. For those of you, pour tout le monde qui a regardé là, non, moi c'est Karen Gilles, host KG22. Qui ça me fait, me vient porter un pile bon bagaille pour nous. En pile information, eh bien, restez là, ma protéine est à l'heure. Stay tuned. regardez là et ben moi quand on on, on licence on, on licence professionnelle qui là qui vient assister nous qui va venir aider nous en sur tout point qui gagne pour ouais à planification surtout sur bagage nos besoin les nous on on l'en mort ou bien nous nos besoin planifier si pour algon bagage pour nous pas dans tête chargé pour nous pas dans courir pour nous dire nous pas connait nous pas connait qui ça pour nous faire eh ben nous gain licence eh, funeral director ça qui là c'est lui même qui président David Lane Floyd W Gilmore Funeral Services et puis il est accompagné d'un monde qui très superbe dans la communauté hein. c'est un pasteur pasteur Emmanuel Jean-Baptiste qui là qui est avec nous qui vient visiter nous dans KJ22 restez là s'il vous plaît Uh, let's get back on the topic. Today, the show is going to be great. We're going to talk again about some great information. And who's going to prov provide it to us is a very much professional funeral services director and a president of a funeral services. Today, we're going to talk about no worries. In no worries, uh, as uh, two weeks ago, we were talking, uh, uh, Mr. Gilmore and I, about uh, what the community needs to do in terms when they have uh, a presentation or situation as as long as crimes and uh, somebody died, somebody passed away. So this person going to really be able to help you on planning. In the no worries program, we did speak about um, plans that um, packages that exist that people have option to choose. Yes. So can you please emphasize on that? First, I want to say thank you for inviting me to KG22. And I will uh, let you know that there are certainly s many packages that are available to uh, a community based on your need. What we make sure that we do uh, is to tailor make each individual service 
to the individual and on a case by case basis. There is nothing necessarily too small for us to handle or too large for us to handle because everybody's situation is different. Uh, we have some people who have insurance and we're able to work from, from that particular uh, position. If you have insurance, a lot of people are not even aware. I have some people, they come in and they're not aware that if they have insurance, they can literally take care of the whole funeral with the life insurance. Uh, and then sometimes I have some families that come in and the life insurance is all they have. And they need a little bit of cash. You know, they got relatives coming either from Haiti or Canada or something from out of state and you're going to have, say, a repass and things like that. And you may need a couple thousand dollars extra to do that. That they're not aware that there are things that that I'm able to do for them so that they can have cash to do that immediately. Mr. That Gilmore, you emphasize, you said about uh, Canada, you said about Haiti, and you mentioned about uh, Jamaica and other places. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, let's say if somebody passed away and the person is in Haiti or Canada or Jamaica, mm -hmm. can you bring that person here? Absolutely. Uh, uh, if the family will just, they just, you know, the whole thing is that if you come to where the help is, you can receive it. We know what to do. All you have so to what do. What about if that person doesn't have insurance? What can you do for them? Again, it, it depends. Sometimes, uh, you know, people people are working, and sometimes they have other assets on their jobs, or sometimes they have union benefits. Uh, when they come in, we'll research for them. We know who to call. We know what to check and how to check it, so we can find out if they have any other assets other than a life insurance. Sometimes I've, you know, I run across myriads of people who the person has money in the bank, but they didn't have a beneficiary. Well, there are ways to. Yes, um, talking about um, when you mentioned that um, people from Haiti, from Canada, the West Indies, uh, in terms of Jamaica. So if somebody passed away over there, let's say they used to work here and they went on vacation over there and they passed away over there, can you bring them back? Oh, absolutely. We do all the paperwork. We contact whatever country it is. We've done that on many occasions. And uh, we set everything up and we have them brought back here and we do the service. No problem, no problem at all. No problem. no problem at all. So um, in terms of, as uh, you mentioned earlier uh, about um, Pastor Baptist. Baptist. Mm -hmm. So Pap Pastor Baptist did have like a, a case like that, a similar case. It was similar. He wasn't. He wasn't in a. You know, his his uh, mother was not in another country. She was in another state. But we do that often uh, as well. And the reason that I uh, made a decision to invite uh, Pastor Baptist is because um, I can say anything. And I'm going to always say things that I believe are going to make my company look good. But I want you to hear from someone who received the service that I provide. And before, so, I, before I introduce, um, before I let Pastor Baptist in, into the conversation, I want to make sure that he talks to his community first. First of all, his church <laughs> and everybody else. So go ahead, Pastor Baptist. Oh. <laughs> Et avec l'église, oui, vous m'avez salué. Oh, ok. Now, moi, dans la conversation avec uh, madame Karine, Karine et, avec et monsieur Gilmore, comme président du programme, ça. Alors, son programme uh, qui annonçait tout le monde qui n'a pas résidence ou qui n'a pas assurance. Si vous avez un monde mort dans la famille, comment que vous avez une opportunité pour l'enterrement en fait Oui. Alors, c'est pour ça que moi là, moi venu là, égal tout ça, moi je qui bon pour nous, ma peut être venu pour nous. Oui, Papa Vatis, quand vous nous avez parlé avec Floyd Gilmore, et puis il dit moi comme ça que les cas transportés 
Koa, quel que soit côté lien, les gens doivent Haïti, les gens doivent Canada, les gens doivent tout l'autre côté. Par exemple, si les gens doivent pas dans New York, même les funéraux services sont dans New York. Et les dit qu'on ça, ou te gon qu'est-ce qu'on ça, et parler de ça, comme si, est-ce que la transportation t'est fait smooth, est-ce qu'elle t'est fait facile? Oui. Le maman t'est très passé, t'est passé. Ma maman était dans un état de Pennsylvania, en côté de la mm -hmm. Immédiatement, pendant cet état qui m'a pas arrangé ici, avec Pasteur Guilmore, pendant que j'étais dans l'office, je me suis dit que ma maman était très basse. Immédiatement, Pasteur Guilmore, le même moment, le même soir, il était pour la machine, il était allé, il wow. a cherché mort à l'autre bois. Je suis l'adresse, je suis allé tout, je suis l'adresse, je suis allé moi le même soir. Et même moi, je suis allé machine, je suis allé tout, pour me dire que je suis allé, 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 pas de difficulté pour ça, c'est fait. Et c'est même gens tout, moi, quoi que. Des pour mon nous avons un monde qui est en Haïti, en Jamaïque, en Canada. C'est très facile tout pour passer à Guilmore. Entrer avec Boris pour ta chanter finir à Yo. Interesting. For those of you who are watching, so this is uh, one of the witnesses that uh, Mr. Gilmore did transport uh, because, you know, from Pennsylvania, from a state of Pennsylvania, his mother, the pastor's mother has died and they managed to bring him do bring her here uh, for the funeral services and everything and he didn't have to do a thing and this is a great thing at least you know sometimes you seeing things and you listen you hearing things but here we have a witness that experience it and that have a good a good outcome so um pastor you know we don't know always i know our community is really uh into finding out the least the maximum or the minimum um of things so with the war no worries you said uh, there's many packages That's correct. there's uh, uh, as far as from ten thousand and and then up or from ten thousand and then down based on what you what, can afford what the, what the need is the, the biggest thing that i ask any of the people that we serve is if you give me an opportunity to serve you, I will come up with a way to serve you. There will be a solution. You, 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 if you come to me and say, okay, uh, Mr. Gilmore, this is, this is what we're working with. If it is at all humanly possible, I will find a way to get it to work with what you're working with. Uh, everybody's situation is different. It's different. You know? Now, you know, of course, you know, sometimes you do have the people that will take advantage of you. Uh, however, we try to try to move around that. But I know a lot of times, sometimes you have uh, single parents uh, who come. Uh, there's only one person working in the household, and maybe they only have a certain number of dollars saved up. And we have to try to work, you know, have to have to try to work with what they have. They still need to be able to celebrate the life of their loved one just like everybody else. And um, that, you know, that, that's why I believe that God has us here so that we can help people so that it's not always the same, you know, because some, you know, it's like that one day when you need just a dollar's worth of gas so you can get to where, you where you're going so you can get to the mother load, so to speak. And sometimes people just simply need help. So you help them, and then the next time when someone comes back, they're in a better position and they're able to, to do a little better. But what I try not to turn anybody away if they at least give me an opportunity to serve them. Uh, there's one more question. You know, whenever I'm doing something for the community, I think about everybody. I think about the veterans. I think about uh, the people that's not working, the uh, non-documented aliens, I, I, I think about um, documented aliens, all, all a different kind, different kind of, um, different type of people, situation, all kind. Mm -hmm. But um, for the veterans, like, do you ever do um, military oh, yes. barriers? We, uh, as a matter of fact, we just uh, recently uh, 
had to to assist a family who had one of their loved ones uh, killed in Afghanistan. And uh, this actually was a, a four-day affair that they did, you know. We made all of the arrangements. We uh, uh, arranged all of the color guard and so forth and the other auxiliaries that were involved. Uh, we met the uh, plane out at JFK. We probably had about 200 people out there from the different auxiliaries, uh, the, the police department, the uh, TSA, uh, all of the veterans, uh, 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 organizations uh, to be there just for the body to come in mm -hmm. and then we set up the uh, transport of the remains and the family uh, as well and the family was in Georgia they weren't even here okay. so but they wanted to have the service here because that's where the young man grew up mm -hmm. so they came up from Atlanta and then some of the family was here, but the person that actually coordinated, you know, handled everything was in Georgia. So we did everything with her by phone, you know. And so then we just had it set up. So they brought him here. They, they literally shut down the, the highways. Uh, we had the highway shut down to bring him over here. They brought him here. We had a view, and then we went to the church, had the service there, and then, uh, of course, the fire department. All of anything that that uh, involved the uniform was so was in terms of insurance, because you know, military insurance, life insurance is different from civilian life insurance. How that go? Does well, it go the, smooth? Well, the veterans in that particular situation, when a person dies in a combat situation, uh, it's also they their uh, uh, the way that they handle it we do everything over the phone basically and they have uh, just a document that you know that we fill out send back to them with uh, the pertinent information and then they just simply uh, wire directly into our account it, it, but you know the family doesn't have to worry about any of this we do everything we just need basic information. So this is a case where the family doesn't have to worry much about anything. So we're going to take a, a pause and then we'll be right back. And then I'll point pause and I'll put it in the Jean-Baptiste, comment on te voit Badi, comment on te voit quoi le Mr. Gilmorfin préparé lui? Ok. Le Mr. Gilmorfin préparé ma maman. Et moi, je dois dire la population haïtienne, je dis que ouais, c'était un jeune de demoiselle. Oh, oh my God. Maman, tu es venu te paraître tellement qu'elle te préparé le bien. Et moi, je dis que tout le monde qui a besoin et qui a besoin de mourir, venez côté Pasteur Guilmore, la population haïtienne, parce qu'il est toujours là, il est préparé pour les deux, dans toute, dans toute façon. Il est capable là pour les deux. Et il a bon, bon service. Il a bon, bon prix. Je crois que tout le monde va aller bien pour ne pas quitter que l'autre monde prenne tout pour aller de l'autre côté. Et c'est jouer avec lui. Et puis, je crois que tout le monde va aller très bien. 
D'accord. Oui, à ce que je parce que je vais Parce que je fais expérience en moi-même, parce que je suis mort. Je suis mort sur mal côté que mon ami dit, oh, c'est là pour faire. Bon, moi-même, et pas moi-même seulement qui ai une décision. Et pas moi-même qui ai fait une décision comme si côté pour préparer ni frère ni maman, parce que je connais un autre membre dans la famille. Mais je pas très bien. Je pas très bien comme si... Et présentation 1, les films me parlent, mais je ne pas très bien, gens ont un bon service. Et l'autre dit ça, moi même tout, moi witness, parce que je viens là tout. Je viens là, je suis un ami qui mourit, et puis je viens là, je viens là, je tout le monde, est-ce que c'est tout le monde qui préparé comme ça Je suis d'accord avec ce que je et puis quand je suis même, je vais aller avec M. Gilmore pour nous continuer avec les conversations. Oui, c'est un côté que maman m'a été gagné un seul tour, qui était mort avant ça. C'est bon, il s'est amené à il était préparé très bientôt. C'est à cause de ça que qui fait que m'a retourné encore. Moi, je viens de côté lui. Et il était aidé mon pile dans la mosse. Il était bon, moi, bon discount. Oh, ok. Et c'est de me au premier côté. Et le priorité m'a dit au premier côté. Là. Il y a un service à qui était bon. Il était bon, bon service, il était bon, bon discount, il était fait ça pour moi avec bon cœur. Il a fait que je me retourne d'un côté avec ma maman, qui fait tout le bagage très bien pour moi. Il était bon, bon discount, il a préparé très bien. Il a fait que je me conseille la population haïtienne. Je viens avec Pasteur Gilmore. Et puis je viens avec tout le monde qui travaille ensemble avant tout. Parce que je viens de côté où aller, je viens de prendre comme là et puis that's it. Nous sommes des témoignages, Pasteur Jean-Baptiste, là, de préparation que Mr. Gilmore a fait pour maman, pour ce lit. Et puis moi-même. Moi même tout, moi fait expérience, moi je viens là, moi je suis assisté au conseil de funérailles et puis moi qui j'en lien. Nous connaissons que. Kunya, from Felicity, I have to say thank you for serving the community because Pastor Jean Baptiste just let us know how great you prepare the mother, the sister, and you provide great discount. And he he did have experience that he went uh, to other places where they asking ex extraordinary amount of money and they don't even adequate they don't provide the services that they're supposed to provide but in terms of that we're gonna move on um to other staff um doing the program of no worries so i want you to mention your phone number and the address i know it's 45 remsen avenue but i want you to mention the address for the order 45 remsen avenue and that's right here in brooklyn we serve all of the boroughs that just happens to be our location. And then we'll also, we'll come to you. If you can't come to us, we'll come to your house and make the arrangement. Or if you can't get to us and you don't want us uh, to come to your home, we'll make arrangements for you to get transportation. We'll arrange the transportation to bring you to the funeral home to make the arrangement. Um, our phone number wow. is 718. Our phone number is 718-771-2800. And this is not something that we just started doing. We We'll, or we've always done that. Sometimes I have families that are either in the Bronx or they're in Queens. They don't have to come all the way over here. We'll go there, you know, if that's what they want. Uh, just just how, however they, they want it done, that's, that's what we try to do. So um, for the victim of crime, how do you, how do the process go? Because most of the time when a crime happens, it happens suddenly. And most of the time the, the parents or, or the, the victim itself probably don't have nobody to even take care of the body arrangement if they're alone here or they, they already, you know, they're already a victim so yes. what what can't you do for them well actually the uh when an unfortunate event takes place where someone has a loved one who is party to uh, uh a crime and has uh been uh depicted as being the victim there is an organization called crime victims which is local and I think that is one of the, the great things about uh, uh, that has been provided by the city. Through crime victims, uh, the person can get up to $6,000 toward the funeral service, which is a, a substantial amount. And you can 
come pretty close to doing a decent service for that. Uh, they don't give you all the money at once. Uh, what the person would do is they come and they make the arrangement first. Then once they have a signed contract with us, they take that signed contract down to crime victims and they will actually advance them the first $2,500 on the spot with the contract and once everything has been approved uh, by crime victims and they generally will approve it within a day or two uh, then the balance is paid after they uh, complete the uh, investigation but the thing is is that even if you're spending a portion of the six thousand you can spend more but the city will give is going to going to give you the six thousand dollars but the, the beauty of it is even if uh, you have to come up with the other $3,500, at the end of the day, when they've done everything, they're going to reimburse you that $3,500 back. You're going to get your money back. You're going to be a total of $6,000 toward taking care of the expenses and so forth that come up suddenly. Uh, and again, a lot of people just are not aware that that's out there. You know, nobody wants anybody to be a part of a crime, but there is something in place to help when that occurs. So, Mr. Gilmore, you said uh, um, this, for a crime victim that uh, they provide, the city um, provide uh, $6,000. So what about if that person, okay, if that person who was a crime victim only have one person that could actually come to you and let you know about what's going on well, and but how do the person come to pay you right, if what, they don't have it what happens is again we deal on a case by case basis uh 99% of the time when people when that occurs people don't know what to do so the thing to do is to come to us because we do know what to do and we'll just take them through the process and then uh, we work out something so that everything can get paid. Uh, there are so many different ways. Uh, you know, sometimes there are, again, sometimes there are assets on people's jobs that they just simply don't know are there. Yes, uh, a lot of people are in unions and they don't even know they have uh, death benefits from their, from their unions. A lot of people have death benefits in their unions, not only for them, but for their spouses and they don't know that. Uh, sometimes people have been retired, but they still have a, a small union death benefit that, they're not even, that people are not even aware of. But the thing to do is that if you come to us, because we have the information and we do know what to do, uh, you know, it, it's, it's like if you, if you go to the cleaners, you go to the cleaners to get your clothes clean. You don't go to the cleaners to buy a loaf of bread mm -hmm. because the cleaners knows how to clean clothes and then the baker knows how to bake Big bread. Bread. OK, we are professional funeral directors, well informed. Uh, we go to the uh, conferences. We, we keep abreast of what's going on in the funeral industry so that we can properly properly serve the people that we have been called I believe by God to serve and um, there's one more question okay as I said as I said on KG 22 you have to come to 45 Williamson Avenue and the number is 718-771-2800 remember 718-771-2800 if you need to have more information about what to do how to plan for God forbid, it's not that we're saying that you have to plan that you're going to die. But you see, those things happen, and you have to be prepared. And don't go crazy. Just come to a professional director, funeral, or professional funeral service director at 45 Wemsen Avenue, 718-771-2800. Stay tuned. Again, we are back, and now we're going to go with uh, Mr. Gilmore and uh, Pastor Jean-Baptiste uh, on the community. Regarding the community, uh, can you please uh, emphasize what you do for the community? Well, you know, my wife and I are very big on what we do in the community that we live and we serve. And so... We believe that, again, uh, uh, that God has called us to do what we do 